It was late summer and the sun was setting over the hills of the small town of Westfall. The sky was a deep red, and the hills were dotted with trees that seemed to be whispering secrets in the wind. As the sun slowly set, a figure appeared on the top of the highest hill. It was an old abandoned mansion, its walls crumbling and its windows broken. It was a sight that sent shivers down the spine of anyone who caught a glimpse of it. The locals of Westfall had always known of the mansion, but none H. Ad ever dared to enter it. Some said it was cursed, others whispered of strange things that happened when people were too close to it. Whatever the truth was, no one was brave enough to find out. One night, however, a group of teenagers decided to break into the mansion. They had heard the stories, but they were too young and foolish to really believe them. Armed with flashlights and a sense of adventure, they made their way up the hill and through the broken gates of the mansion. Inside, the man's ion was in disarray. The furniture was covered in dust and cobwebs, and the walls were crumbling. The group slowly made their way through the decrepit hallways, exploring every room they encountered. They saw strange artifacts and furniture, but nothing out of the ordinary, until they reached the top floor. The group opened the door to the final room and were immediately taken aback. It was a large room, but it was empty. The walls were painted black and the only illumination came from a single C.A. Endel that was placed in the center of the room. As the group stepped forward, they noticed a figure standing in the corner. It was a woman, dressed in a long black dress. Her face was hidden in the shadows, but her eyes glowed a bright green. The group felt a chill run down their spines as the woman stepped forward and spoke in a low voice. Welcome to my home, she said. I have been expecting you. The group was frozen in fear as the woman walked around the room. She seemed to be looking for some thing, but the group couldn't tell what. After a few minutes, the woman stopped in front of the group and smiled. I have been searching for someone for a long time, she said. Someone who can help me with a very important task. The group was still too scared to move, but the woman continued. I need someone to help me find the lost treasure of Westfall, she said. It is hidden somewhere in this mansion, and I need someone to help me find it. The group was still too scared to move, but the woman continued. If you help me, I promise you a reward beyond your wildest dreams, she said. All you have to do is stay here with me for one night and help me search for the lost treasure. The group was still too scared to agree, but the woman continued. I promise you will be safe, she said. No harm will come to you. The group reluctantly agreed, and the woman led him to a secret room in the back of the mansion. Inside, the group found a treasure trove of gold and jewels. The woman smiled, and the group realized that she had been telling the truth. The group quickly gathered the treasure and began to leave the mansion. As they made their way out, however, the woman stopped them. Wait, she said. I have one final request. Take this candle with you and burn it in the town square. That way, I will know that you have done as I asked. The group agreed, and the woman smiled. Good luck, she said. And may your journey be blessed. The group quickly left the mansion and made their way back to town. When they arrived, they lit the candle in the town square as the woman had asked. As they did, a strange feeling came over them. It was as if a dark presence was watching them. The group quickly scattered, never to be seen again. To this day, the candle still burns in the town square, and the mansion on the hill still stands, a reminder of the dark secrets it holds.